Hey, hi guys, I'm Ghosty, and before we get into the video, I'm going to do a little recap. So, here we go. Gotham Knights is an upcoming action role-playing video game developed by W Gamers Montreal, and of course is DC Comics. It explores the Bat Family saving the city after the death of the beloved urban legend of the Batman. This means that we have Robin, Tim Drake, Nightwing, Dick Grayson, Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, and Red Hood as Jason Todd. And since the Batman's gone, the Bat Family has to rise up against the crime in the city and become their own heroes. Or in this game's case, Gotham Knights. And of course with this, we get the iconic rogues gallery of Gotham. But in this case, it's more than meets the eye. Because more is revealed as we get deeper into the city. And deeper into its roots. It was first announced in 2020. And since then, has been teased at over and over again. But today, right now, it just dropped. Literally just dropped. A new trailer that I'm going to react to. Which I don't really do much live reactions on this channel. But for this, I wanted to. Just because it just dropped. And I'm here for it. I never talked about this game yet. Because there was nothing new about it. Since I started this channel. But there would have been a lot. Trust me. But now we have something to look at. So here we go. And also, I know there's a ton of Batman games before. Which I am deeply in love with. I love Batman a lot. And in this case, this is a new universe. It's not connected to any other Batman games whatsoever. They're starting their own story and starting their own universe with this game. That's for the people who don't know about this game yet. It has nothing to do with the Arkham games or any other kind of Batman games whatsoever. It's its own universe and it's new. So, let's get back to the trailer. This is a demo, a gameplay demo, of Nightwing and Red Hood. And I'm here for it. Let's go! Damn. Hi, I'm Jeff Eleanor, game director at Warner Brothers Games Montreal, and today <laughs> I'm really That's excited to share with you gameplay footage featuring Nightwing uh, yeah. and Red Hood from our upcoming game, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. And of course, Red Hood, like, bloodthirsty as ever. Sick. The game looks really good. Still working progress too. Oh my look at Gotham man. <laughs> look at Gotham. I could not be more excited for this. Cathedral. Damn it looks good. Hurry it up, will ya? Looks like they're anarchy goons, maybe. They have they're the same colors as him. So it, might, it could be him, but maybe not. We're joining Nightwing, also Nightwing. known as Dick Grayson, midway through the game story as he patrols our city. All of the knights can unlock heroic ways of getting around the city. For Nightwing, it's his glider, the Flying Trapeze. <laughs> yeah, the Regulators gang glider. are engaged in a hacking crime, it's so it's time to bring some vigilante justice to the bad people. Oh my god, look at the, look at the HUD. Each crime in Gotham Knights like plays, plays like a mini game mode with rules and optional objectives. Nightwing's oh, fighting style acrobatics. is acrobatic. He ping-pongs around the battlefield. While you can play the whole game solo, you can also protect Gotham in co-op with we'll a friend. We'll be playing it solo, by the way. We'll Red be Hood. playing it. Red Hood gained new abilities after being resurrected Whoa. by an assassin cult. Here, he uses Mystical Leap to move across the rooftops, supported by his own soul energy. That's Successful attacks and dodges build up my momentum bar below. And timing my strikes and combos Damn. correctly makes it build faster. Once the bar is full, heroes <laughs> can did. unleash powerful abilities. I don't know how I feel about that. The way he moves, it's Red cool. Hood's range attacks are a little louder. He fires non-lethal rounds like do that still do a hit. lot of damage. Oh, that's like a boot. Bigger. Oh, look at the symbol over the other character's head. It's cool. Here's Red Hood's barrage ability, which deals piercing damage to interrupt armored attacks. That's the the UI HUD. you're seeing can be customized yeah. to your preferences. What's on screen is what I like, but you can set it the way you like. Oh, cool. Alright. I think at the left, top, the bottom left, different abilities. Just point a vehicle. Bottom right is all your abilities, I guess. Show us the team pick down. Now, <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh, it even has the slow mo. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that's, that's weirdly cool. 
Oh, the bike. Now that we've prevented the Arcade. regulators from stealing data, let's Hell follow yeah. Red Hood for a bit. He's, he's off the wheel in mid fight. The Bat Cycle is usable by all heroes in Gotham Knights. The bat, the let's watch bat Red Hood chase oh, down yeah. a smuggling van in Southside neighborhood. Ice cream van too. I like it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He's brutal. Nice takedown, Jason. Damn. Great. More shitheads to beat up. <laughs> His voice is even edgy. It's cool. Uh, they even have like the warnings. Red Hood can unlock the ability to attach a bomb to thrown opponents, so he can detonate it with a shot later. <laughs> it's a pretty good time. Yo! That's, that's a cool feature, I like that a lot. Especially for Red Hood. They probably had the same thing with like Batgirl or Robin for an EMP, for like techie villains, I'm guessing. Or techie guns. Goons. Someone just called him Red Hood. I don't, know, I don't know if that was the enemy or not. But if not, that means the city's aware of the Bat Family. Now we're back at the or Belfry, the, the hero's home base. Ooh. This next sequence is from early in the game, as we're just discovering the oh, Court of Owls. Look at the suits. The Bat Computer runs the map of the city and lets us pursue challenges and advance the story. Ooh. Case files, challenges, gear, abilities, database, email. Oh, the map. Nightwing is big. tracking his next story mission, <laughs> investigating the Old Powers Club. The Old Powers Club. Alright. Yeah, I can tell that the was The workbench is where we go to upgrade our equipment, making sure that we're Whoa. ready for each Whoa, new challenge through the game. There's a lot going on. Players find blueprints and crafting materials <laughs> by taking on missions and fighting crime. Each blueprint has different stats, giving the player a wide range of cool choices the? for their individual the strategy hell? and style. Oh, show me red hoods. Oh my god. Gear with mod slots Ooh. is better because mod chips power up gameplay properties. That's sick. What the hell? That looks like an Oni. A Genji's Oni skin from Overwatch. Oh, there's so much stuff going on. I meant to make more than one video on this. At this point in the story, our characters are still processing the loss of Batman. Oh, man. You could visit him? Jason. I could what? He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. <laughs> um, that's... You haven't. I'm not the one staring at that. You know. Oh, man. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. That's depressing. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Players can unlock know, fast travel that. to get oh, around the city in a hurry cool. with the fast bat. Oh, that's something else. Oh, that is something else. Belfry, got anything court related? He looks related? so good. Look at the city. Court of Owls. The mist of the entire city is so good. Look at the clock tower in the back. Oh, it's beautiful. According to the old poem, anyway. The GCPD building. Okay, too. but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If this all-powerful court really is out there. They might be the ones getting all those creeps out of Blackgate. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I hear you're, you. you're right about that. Uh, Fingers one crossed part. we'll learn Jason. more at the Powers Club. <laughs> oh, this could be straight out of the Court of Hours comic. It's time for Nightwing to sneak into court territory. You need to find the secret entrance. The white eyes will work really well too. Stealth is always an advantage. I'm in. Be careful. Let us know if you find anything. They're using stealth in this. They have a heavily, few guards. For long lunch too, great. huh? Like you actually need stealth. Nice to get a break once in a while. So what do you think the poor bastard did? 
Don't see what poor bastard. As far as I know, I just got a longer break. Poor bastard. I wonder what that means. Oh, yep, he's taking the <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Why does face look like that? Every hero has unique takedowns and finishing moves. Ambush strikes are faster than silent takedowns, but make more noise. Kind of like the knockout smash in the Arkham games. Augmented reality vision helps the heroes solve puzzles and investigate Ooh. mysteries. AR shows a trail of blood. I wonder what else it can see. There's something under the floor. The hatch is connected to some kind of network. There's got to be a way to open it. Right. Here we see Nightwing's elemental shockwave ability. It interrupts enemy armored attacks and deals elemental Wait, status effects. Galaxy. I love it. Cryo Whoa. status freezes an enemy, taking freezes. them out of the fight for a while. <laughs> what? He even has an ice ability? That's awesome. Looks like it hurt. Get it on him. <laughs> they actually do have the secret entrance. And done. Cool. It's not like the um, bedroom put that was story on, but it's close. Big public area. A hidden staircase. Hidden entrance. That can't be good. Court of Owls, baby! I'm, I love Shit, that they have a team of the It's more than talent. It looks so good. Oh! This hand's more sexual? The Court of Owls is going to be a big threat. Not just story-wise, like gameplay-wise too. But he's going quick. If this is the talent, they're going to be hard to take down. Heads up! Like, I actually hope that actually the difficult to deal with. For like they take a while. For anybody wondering out. how this fight looks with Red Hood, check this out. Oh, hell yeah. first. Then you can think about the rewards. <laughs> Got a bunch of blades of course. <laughs> Red Hood Brutal. takes on a Talon Dude. Gladiator here, one of the Court of Owls, what are they engineered talons? superhuman assassins. These boot talons are in the game now. And I'm loving it. Alright, yeah, he seems pretty damn difficult to take down. Maybe I was, maybe exaggerated yeah. a little too bit. He looks a little too hard. Messed up their gameplay. They tried to put, doing the showing off the bomb move, and the talent just messed it up. That's pretty cool, though. I can't get over here. this belongs to you must be in bad shape. Better hurry. God, I'm gonna watch and get off those videos so many times. That must be whoever they kidnapped. Rick, 
Dylan's in. Okay, Bring in the other space! They won't help again! Please! Oh, shit. We saw, we saw this earlier on the trailers too. Um, God of the Night! <laughs> pre-order now. And well, I ended the video, or the reaction, saying that I was going to pre-order it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to pre-order it or not. I'm still thinking of it. But let's talk about it. Like, after the video, and let me, you know, process everything and talk about it. But as you can see, I'm loving this game so far, and I'm really excited for it. Really, anything Batman-related or Batman topic or as like the main thing comes my way I'm I'm interested in it and I always love it and I'm always like for it this of course I'm for it and I'm really excited for this game this has been my most anticipated game for a while now and I'm really looking forward to it this and Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation I'm really excited for both games but since I do like Batman more and Gotham more than Spidey and his stories I guess I'm more excited for this but regardless I'm really excited for both of them Obviously, there's some issues with it so far, like some things I'm going to bring up now, actually. Like, it's still a pre-alpha build, or maybe not pre-alpha, but they said it's a work in progress in the video. So, of course, the game's going to look better when it comes out. I think it looked relatively good in this, and I, but I think it's still going to even look even better when it's actually re like released. There's some issues with combat, too. Some things are slower, when it probably could be a lot smoother, and like combo issues. I think it could be more fluid and, you know, smoother. For the most part, though, I think the gameplay is good. Uh, let's talk about the transportation, though, real quick. The transportation in this game is really interesting. Of course, what we had before is, like, top-notch. We've had the Arkham games and some other Batman games that, well, you know, it really isn't up to par and isn't newer like the Arkham games is. But we're used to gliding with the cape and all, like how Batgirl is used in this game. But with the teleportation for the other characters, Wow. Um, this game, well, well, yeah, the world in this game and the Bat Family themselves is a lot more high tech. It's a lot more technological for everything, really, as you can see. In another trailer, Robin is literally using teleportation for like from like the Watchtower of the Justice League, which is really interesting because that means Justice League exists and the Watchtower is a thing. He uses that to get around, teleport. We saw Nightwing's glider. And then Red Hood uses <laughs> this Mystic Leaf ability, which is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, if I like it. I mean, I like it, but at the same time, it's, a, it's not like... I don't know, I'm not... I don't like things when things are too high-tech. In this case, it's working so far. I could... I do kind of like it. Uh, but I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence. But I'm leaning towards I kind of like it. I'm glad they're using the Lazarus Pit for Red Hood's story and, you know, his origin, his backstory. I'm glad they're using that, finally in the actual game, and and overall, the story overall, I really like that the, the characters that they're using, I love that they're giving us a chance to play as the Bat Family, and we're actually learning more about the Court of Owls in a game, so that it should boost their, the popularity of the Court of Owls, because we don't see them in much, but I love that, I love the, how the story is looking, and how the world is building so far. Please, please feel free to comment and tell me your thoughts about this, especially the transportation system in this game, because I'm really on the fence about it, and I wanted to hear others out. I'll probably text a few friends and call them up, see how they feel about it as well. But I also want to hear your opinion. The Mystic Leaf thing, um, it's interesting. Uh, again, I'm glad they're using the Lazarus Pit. It's really an interesting way to go and like path to go down by giving him abilities from the Lazarus Pit. Bringing him alive is one thing, but giving him abilities and actually like a spiritual level like powers is weird. And it's, it's new for Red Hood, I think. I'm not even sure if that's been done before. I mean, obviously he's affected by it, in, like, mentally, but, like, now he actually has powers from it, which is interesting. And it doesn't look like there's any tech involved. It's fully from the Lazarus Pit. It's, they, they talk about it like it's from his soul or something like that. So, I don't know, it's just interesting. Nightwing is a glider. I'm not sure what else they could have done for him. They could have just done a cape. Ooh, ooh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, they could have done a wingsuit. But not a wingsuit, like um, an underarm wings, like how Spider-Man has on his suits. The uh, underarm wings to glide around. That would have been cool for Nightwing. I think that would have worked pretty well. Regardless, though, it doesn't really matter. It's only for the transmutation aspect for things. And the glider, I don't really mind. I think it looks cool. And it's definitely a way to get around. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Mystic Leaf thing is really the only thing I'm like, oh. Uh, hmm. 
like I'm looking at it and I'm hes- I'm not and I don't want to not like it. Like I do enjoy it and I'm liking it. I'm just thinking and I I'm trying to process it more and more. As for Batgirl, that's fine, perfectly fine. As for Robin, very interesting. That's a lot more high tech than anything, anything else so far. The Watchtower, you can teleportation. That's brand new. That's never. I don't think that's ever been done before. So that's interesting. And I guess it is a way. And Tim Drake is smart. He's on the detective and techie side of things. Batgirl is too kind of, but I mean I guess they are all, are all kind of. But it, Robin and Batgirl embrace it the most. So I'm not surprised to see it. But I, I, I did like it so far. And yeah, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of the transportation stuff. I just want to hear other thoughts, so feel free to, please. As for the abilities, I'm not sure what Red Hood has under his sleeve, but I know it's revealed in the trailer that Nightwing has cryogenic, like, powers. Like, his Extreme Sticks probably has some kind of cryogenic liquid in it, probably from Freeze, or he's probably got an idea from Freeze, which is pretty cool. I know Free- we know Freeze is in the game. So that's cool. I'm really excited to see him, one of my favorite villains, but... I'm guessing that's where Nightwing got that idea from, but I don't know. Regardless, his Exclamation Sticks has some kind of cryogenic powers to them, and it can freeze enemies. Which I think is also a new take, but I'm a fan of it. I like it. I'm really a fan of anything like ice-related or ice weapon, like ice and like freezing powers or anything like that. Ice user weapon, that sort of thing. I'm a fan of that anywhere, so of course I'm biased towards that. But I think it's cool. And that c- falls under like the element power, I think. I know they give it a tech reason. But I think it's still an elemental power kind of thing. I wonder if the other Bat family members have that. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll see it. For the most part, though, of the gameplay and like fighting aspects, like I said, it could probably use work and make it more fluid and smoother. Some things when I'm looking at it, it feels like maybe I'm used to the Arkham games. I mean, even the other superhero games that we've gotten, like the Spider-Man game, the combos are more fluid and small, smoother, and it all is, goes like more well together. And it goes cleaner. And this is a little choppy here and there. So it's probably get fixed by the time of its release. I'm just pointing it out. So in case maybe small chance they see this or they see the fan opinions and they fix it, and, you know, make it better. That's all. But for the most part, it's good. I think I like it. And the stealth too, of course. It's really hard to fail stealth. I think, especially since there's past experience with Batman games, and they've had past experience with Batman games. They worked on Arkham Origins from 2013. So I don't. I trust them with that. And I, it's so far in the trailer, it looks pretty good. Now this, I want to talk about this now. Obviously, we have the map, which I said I like how it looks. But we have case files, challenges, gear, abilities, and database, and email. Email is probably going to be the way of, like, in-world communication. I don't think it's going to have any part gameplay-wise unless you get a message and you need to read it. Or maybe they're going to add a feature where you need to hack into someone's email and things along those lines. And maybe have a puzzle, like how Spider-Man had the techie levels kind of thing in the lab. But we have database, which is probably going to be, you know, the info on all the heroes and villains, like the characters and things going on in Gotham. Or that would be case files. Because case files could be many different stories and references to a lot of, like, Batman stories and things in the comics, things along those lines. So I'm not sure. Or database will be more Bat Family related and stuff that was in the Batcave and the Belfry and whatnot. And then case files will be the villains. But, you know, we'll see it. Challenges will probably be, you know, challenges, like the AR challenges. Abilities will probably be the skill tree and upgrades. And then I'm guessing gear, of course, is gear. We actually get a pretty good look at that in the trailer that we just saw of gear, which I love, by the way. I am in love that you can customize all of the different components of your outfit and your suit, no matter who the character you're playing as is. And I'm, oh, I can't wait for it. I'm really excited to see what people make with these customizations from different storylines and different outfits, just to full-on custom gear. I can't wait for it. I'm really excited to see this too because even if a villain isn't used big or they could not be used at all but they could still be referenced and exist in the world of Gotham Knights through case files or database but you know we'll see. And now I want to go back to this clip again because this bomb feature that I didn't mention during the like the moveset that time I was talking about but this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. It fits Red Hood and like I said while watching it Batgirl might have some sort of thing, or Robin might have some sort of thing. Maybe all of them, really. But I know this was specifically for Red Hood. But they could have a thing where it's an EMP against, like, drones or some kind of techie enemy that would disable their tech, which would be cool. Which would, which might be a feature, which I won't be surprised about. But, again, we'll see. And I also want to say something about this. 
but and Jason and Dick's interaction. In this game, I could say something about Batman, but I don't want to say it in case of possible spoilers for the game that will come out, of course. But I want to say that I hope there's deep, deep emotion between the Bat family and them having much guilt and, you know, the emotions that come with Batman's death. And I really want to take an insight in their, you know, see their pain and see their guilt and what they have to deal with. Like, I want to see the impact of Batman's death and, you know, him gone and what it does to the city. I want to really see it instead of just the game telling us, if that makes sense. But I think that pretty much sums up my thoughts on this trailer, I guess. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that sums it up pretty well. And everything, you know, I want to talk about. I would talk about a lot of other stuff. But most of that stuff isn't new, and that's what this video is about, is this new trailer. And a lot of my thoughts that I would talk about, or I would want to talk about, is from old stuff and just about the game in general. So, if you want that, I guess I'll make another video on that. Or if I want to, I'll record that sometime. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, etc, etc. This has been Ghosty, and thank you for watching. I bid you all farewell.